Hi everybody, it's Daniel J from CyberVent website for ventriloquists. I am here with the one and only Daniel Clemente from Mannheim, PA. And uh, I got a couple questions to ask you and uh, you know, hopefully uh, uh, we can get some good responses. The first thing is, what got you interested in ventriloquism? So I actually uh, bought, a buddy of mine sold me a puppet. He bought an Axtel. Okay. He sold it to me and uh, he says, man, you gotta try this got to try this ventriloquist thing. I didn't even know what the ventriloquist was. Yeah. And I, I said, all right, how much do you want for it? I, I talked him down in price a lot and picked it up and I started practicing. And uh -huh. I bought Tom Krause course. Nice. Yeah, that's a great course, course, by the way. Uh, LearnVentriloquism.com. Dot com. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic course. Uh, we want money for that, Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We expect affiliate programs, you know, more than the affiliate, though, because we actually did a plug live. <laughs> So, how long have you been doing ventriloquism now? So it would be, uh, this would be year number five. Five years. Five years. Okay. And uh, what, do, what have you found is the most challenging part of the ventriloquism? Writing the jokes. Isn't it terrible? Yeah, writing comedy is very difficult. You can learn how to speak without moving your mouth, but writing comedy mm -hmm. is hell. Yeah. But yeah. once you get it. Right. And I, well, do you think that's one of the things that makes Jeff Dunham stand out? Is, 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 is I his I think writing? his comedy is phenomenal. Yeah, I'm sure he's got some good writers, but I think he writes a lot of the material too. And mm -hmm. he's got that creative mind. Right. I think the wheels are always turning. Yeah. I think that helps. But okay. uh, yeah, I think that's comedy writing the hardest part. Yeah. Yeah. I would I would agree with you. Um, it is difficult for most people. No. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you attended the? Vent Haven International Ventriloquist. This will be my fourth convention. Fourth so convention. I started it. I started five years ago. Went right away. Boom. And then every year, every every since. year, just yes. to hang out with you, though. Yeah, right. Because you're, well, you're my favorite ventriloquist. <laughs> well, you just uh, that was the next question. question. You just that covered the questions. You're no. my favorite ventriloquist. <laughs> That's what Dirk Golden would say. No, it's 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 uh, the convention is awesome, and, and, uh, and you really, I, I and, and I think it's not, not. I mean, the workshops are good, and, and you know, but I think. You get the most out of interacting and talking to other vents, the camaraderie side, with each other, right, 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 right. And in the hospitality room afterwards, oh, it's yeah. just people cut loose, and, absolutely. And and you get a lot of great ideas. Oh, yeah. You get to steal a lot of great ideas. So <laughs> when they die, you take, you take their jokes. <laughs> you take their jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I was going to ask. What's your favorite part about the convention? I like the camaraderie. Yeah, meeting. I mean, I, we talk almost a couple times a week. Yeah, uh, I talk to you, Dirk, Eddie Siller. Uh, other people throughout the you know throughout the year, mm -hmm. and then we get here. It's like we have we have. Like I saw you on Saturday, right? Right. And I feel like I've seen you every day because I talk to you so much. <laughs> right. And that's probably the best part is the camaraderie of friendship and, and meeting yeah. people. As yeah. fr fellowship, I think, is right. the biggest thing. That's, that's um, and I really enjoy that part of it more than anything. Right. It, it, I don't even get up for the workshops. I usually sleep in until yeah. until noon. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I think. Do, do you ever? Is there ever one? Has there ever been a time where you've you've, you've saw a workshop and you're like, I got to go to that one. Really good. When yeah. Jeff shows up, I think those are you're Jeff because like, he again you're that creative mind. You mm -hmm. want to hear what he's got, right? Sure. And and his uh, lectures, he always shows you. Mm -hmm. Let's take a topic and boom, let's make some mm -hmm. jokes about it. Right. So when you see his creative process, it kind of starts the wheel start turning, mm -hmm. and that's why I think that's right. those and those uh, those are my favorite ones. When Jeff's here, mm -hmm. or uh, even Dan uh, Dan Horn mm -hmm. when he's talking, those are the best ones. His his, his uh, courses on manipulation. Oh, and, and if you ever get a chance, I know Dan Horn. Has one hour lessons. Mm -hmm. on, oh, it's on, on, on uh, yeah. You you, you so learn so much you, within one hour, and an hour goes quick. You learn so much. I know that uh, Darcy, when she was after the golden buzzer, she right after golden. the golden buzzer, and she went out with Oscar and started doing the, the arm, yeah the yeah. arm thing and that Dan had taught her like night night and day. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, was, I agree. It was, it was really good. But those are the best thing. That's probably the best too. Is right. Is, is when those when you get people that are. They know what they're doing, mm -hmm. and they come here and they teach. Right, and that's important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, who is besides yourself? Who is your favorite ventriloquist? Gotta go with Jeff. Gotta, gotta go, go with Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. It's, uh, again, it, I like. Do I like singing? And, and do I like that? I think it's great. But uh, the comedy, stand-up comedy, is uh, you know. So between Dan and Jeff would be my favorite. Be, I gotta put Jeff and then Dan right there with them. Yeah, they're both two creative minds that are just brilliant. Right, right. I agree. And uh, finally, who is your favorite character of yours? Of mine. Of yours. Well, I have I have two characters, which I'm sure many people that watch this video will think know. Is 
we've got Jed and Ezra, and Jed basically writes himself. Yeah. Jed writes for, he doesn't even, I don't gotta do anything, he just writes the material just sitting on your arm. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas Ezra, I gotta put a little more work into it. So I would say Jed is the number one character. Okay. He's just, he's brilliant. Yeah. And, big, and he's an idiot. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> very educated. Yeah, yeah. So, it, it, you know, it's good. Um, we're, we're uh, Daniel's actually my first interview this year, which is fantastic. And uh, oh, the lighting's good. The lighting's yeah, good. yeah. We, we we were hoping this. We got this, uh, the lighting set up uh, with a different type of lighting. Uh, we're hoping that uh, this comes out good this year. Uh, last year came out good, but uh, we were just trying to improve a little bit. So, um, hey, uh, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this interview with Dan Clemente. And uh, next time I will wear pants. <laughs> And we're all looking forward to that.